Autograph, yo! Yes. I am the cause of like all this bullshit that's happening around hurts. Like, like it just fucking hurts. Hi, my name is Flourish Enemy and welcome to Doing Nothing With Me. Uh, this is where I talk rubbish and do absolutely nothing. So, what are we gonna talk about today? We can talk about the presidential election and what had happened in the last week. By now you should know the results of the election and congrats to Mr. Thurman. With a landslide of 70%. Fortunately for the other two contestants. Contestant? Reality show over. Fortunately for the two contestants, they get their deposit back. To be frank, I don't know anything about the other two contestants. What I know is Tan Kin Lian was on smoke. I believe he's trying to go through the Trump approach but he was doing it half-heartedly. Uh, what I believe he should have done is really went full on. He should have went full on with this approach of being the most chico pay with this demographic of older generation of uncles that love to spy on girls and also love to do backhanded compliments on the other races. I feel like he should have doubled down on that and without all these subliminal uh, messages. Alright, so while editing this video, I just found out that your boy is selling his posters. This guy is outrageous. He's trying to hustle your way through and selling his posters. Look at your boy. I chose the Muslim charity because the Malika probably need more help than that. This guy is outrageous yo what is this guy on i mean fair play to him if the money goes into my back pocket but what the heck this guy is even doing autograph yo your voice crazy yeah. this is nuts I mean, fair play to him like, if you want to get the bag get the bag but yo this is crazy Okay, back to the program. Um, Kok Song, uh, I feel like he has good points. I just saw one speech and I was like, oh, he's a good dude. Other than that, I feel like both of them were there just for vibes. Just to show that they had an election. And for the first time ever, the minority won. It's a good record for us in the books. I mean, to be honest, we all know that Taman's gonna win anyway because the streets know Taman Jurong. It is what it is. I'm not gonna be honest, basically what in this program is, I'm just gonna talk absolute rubbish anything that comes up in my mind honestly just freestyling right here what is happening in my life i am basically unemployed i think god is literally testing me right now uh i'm i'm blessed with this challenge you know alhamdulillah uh, but uh, not gonna lie it is i i am struggling uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna drown but just that you know it, it, i'm going through a hard time right now trying to find a job all of you sme fucks are over there oh i'm a fucking hell bro okay one company in particular is driving me nuts. I'm not gonna say any names about which company is driving me crazy. Just know that it is in the perfume perfume uh, perfume subscription industry. The reason why this is driving me crazy because we had this talk, right? Owner just reached out to me. Uh, Yo, we love your work. This is my number and we're gonna have a call. So I have a call with him and honestly that call went in my opinion, it went well. And we also had plans because like at that point of time, I had a one month notice period. What he uh, suggested was during that one month, we could plan in a way where I'll be doing freelancing or some part-time, like some shit like that. Once I've completed my notice period and then I'll get a contract. Which is, I felt, I felt like it was a good suggestion. So I was like, yeah, I, I totally agree with it. He forwarded me to his other colleagues. Honestly, that interview was, I, I felt like it was great. Because like, I thought like we bounced together and like we had a good time, you know, knowing each other and I felt like I really fit in the job scope and I know that I can do very well in this uh, role that they are searching for. Now, here's the fun part. They told me it take a week or so for them to finalize everything and they will get back to me. I'm still waiting for them. I, I, I'm honestly like in two months in, I'm still waiting for them. So really fuck them. Fuck you for wasting my time. Like, I get it last minute, you do not want me. That's fine, you can, you know, at least give me a text. Be respectful and give me a text. Bottom line is, you could have just texted me and tell me, you, we do not want to uh, continue forward. I'm fine with that. But you motherfuckers don't even have the decency to tell me that. So fuck you guys, man. I really hate you guys. I hope your business just go down in the drain. Right? 
fucking hate your work. I am so petty with this type of shit that I be played like a fucking fool. I hate it. And you just gave me false hope. Basically, I just I quit my previous job because I really can't take it anymore. Now I'm just finding a new job. Since July to September, right now I'm still finding a job. It sucks. Uh, before we continue the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you know when I next upload. Also, follow all my social media accounts over here. Yes, please follow. So let's get back to the video. There was a uh, opportunity that I hoped I was getting, but it didn't fell through like I hope it would. What happened was me and the creative director we had an ongoing back and forth to see if I was a good fit or not. I executed the best presentation that I could ever had. Like really, that that presentation was amazing. Like put in a lot of effort in it. I'm a graphic designer, so I provided all mockups. I provided mood boards, everything to show that what we can improve on because they, he did give a creative assessment and, and shit so I I honestly think I aced that 100% and after the presentation both of us were very very happy I feel like he could vibe with like my ideas and all that the idiot in me just like thought okay I got this in the bag I don't have to look through all any other jobs anymore you know I can just like I, I think this is like a double double confirmation for me. A week went by, his company had a, a trip or something like that. Uh, he got sick. During the national day week, he went back to the office and then talked to his high ups. And then the week after that, me expecting a yes, uh, he said no. Uh, yeah, the company wasn't uh, looking for that role anymore. Okay, at least this company came back to me with a reply, but it still hurts. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, it just fucking hurts. I'm still finding a job. I believe that God has plans for me. He won't let me drown. Till then, I'm just gonna work hard and try to find the best job for myself. And hopefully everything goes well at the end. I'm gonna be honest with you. I am going through a crisis with my life. As much as I'm trusting God's plan, I'm not trusting my actions. You know what I mean? It seems like all the actions that I am taking is shit. <laughs> Like, you know, you know, okay, the lowest point of me was in NS where, you know, I had no control of what I'm gonna do. Now, I am at a low point, but I know that it's due to my own doing, you know what I mean? It, it, it fucking sucks, you know, like, to know that I'm the cause of, like, all this bullshit that's happening around. You know, I had a lot of, like, aspirations of going up, like, trying to be a creative, try music, to try a clothing brand, but I'm just too much of a pussy to try anything. But I'm really still holding on to that uh, aspiration. I just feel that right now it wouldn't be the best idea to do that since I don't have any influence with anybody. Even though my designs are sick and my products are sick, I just don't have the influence right now. I just want to build up that community where there's a lot of support uh, behind it. So right now, should I drop? Nobody's gonna buy it. No, even my friends and family are not gonna buy it. They're just gonna buy it. Ah, fuck it. I just. Hey, oh, what are you doing? That is my situation right now. I'm still at a loss. You know, so I don't know what I'm supposed to learn. I don't know. Just to grow up, I guess. Oh yeah. Uh, this is BS, man. Yes, this you're gonna get a lot of this if you're gonna watch Doing Nothing with Flourish Enemy. You know what? I'm just gonna end the video here and I hope I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is gonna be a very laid back video where I feel that if I continue this and a lot of people can relate to what I'm doing, there will be a back of a conversation that I can have with my audience and then hopefully we can grow a community where I can give back to you guys. But right now, I can't even give back to myself. <laughs> that you know when the... Yeah.